the PTS amphibian appeared in the mid-1960s. It replaced the previous K-61 amphibian, which entered service back in the 1950s. The PTS is much larger and more powerful vehicle than its predecessor. It was widely used in service with the Soviet Army, as well as all other armies of the Warsaw Pact. The PTS was exported to Egypt, Iraq, Uruguay, Yugoslavia, and some other countries. This amphibian is employed to transport cargo, troops, weapons, artillery pieces, equipment, and vehicles in river crossing operations and off-road conditions. These amphibians are also used in over-the-beach landings. Access to the cargo compartment is through a large tailgate, which also acts as a loading ramp. The PTS has a payload capacity of 5T on water and 10T on land. It can transport 70 troops, two light utility vehicles, one general utility truck without cargo, or artillery piece up to 152 mm caliber. The rear loading area can be covered with bows and canvas. With special equipment this amphibian can operate at the sea state for. The PTS amphibious cargo vehicle can be used in conjunction with PKP amphibious trailer for river crossing operations. An artillery piece up to medium caliber is loaded onto the trailer. Artillery tractor and the gun crew are carried in the PTS. This permit faster crossing of the water obstacles by artillery units. The PTS has a fully enclosed cab for the crew. Vehicle has a crew of two. There is one additional seat in the cabin. This amphibian can operate under conditions of chemical or nuclear contamination. The PTS uses a number of automotive components of the ATS-59 artillery tractor. The engine is located under the floor. On water this amphibian is propelled by two water jets, located at the rear. Water jets and track can be used simultaneously for exiting water obstacles. The PTS has a powerful winch at the front for loading operations of artillery pieces and other cargo. The PTSM is an improved version. It was the most common model. The PTS amphibious cargo vehicle was succeeded by the PTS-2, which can carry much more payload. Its production commenced in 1973.